Hello, and thank you for joining me. Today, I'm going to show you how to import and export PST files in Microsoft Outlook. So, let's say you have an Exchange account, or you have an old POP email account, or an Office 365 account, and you want to just move messages from an old email to a new email, right? Or you want to export a specific folder and import it to another email box. Using Microsoft Outlook and PST files is a very effective way uh, to move the messages manually. So I'm going to start by showing you here how we export messages. So I've created a folder here with several emails for myself, email one, two, three, and the test email from the first video I did. We're going to click on File in Microsoft Outlook. We're going to click on Open and Export. And then we're going to click here on Import and Export. We're going to select Export to a File. And we're going to click Next. Then we're going to select Outlook Data File, PST, and click Next. We're going to select Important. Now, if we wanted to, we could select Inbox or we could select Test at Cybersecure NY and export the entire mailbox. But for the sake of simplicity, we're only going to export the Important folder. Also, you'll notice here that there's another uh, checkbox called include subfolders. If we had subfolders, like you do with inbox, you would export the subfolders as well. So we're going to uncheck import subfolders. We're going to click next. We're going to click on browse. And we're going to save the file to the desktop. We're going to name this folder important. Click OK. We're going to, going to leave replace duplicates with items exported enabled. We also have the option to allow duplicates or to not import duplicate items. In this demo here, I don't have any duplicate messages, so we're going to leave the default option and we're going to click finish. It's also going to ask you if you want to password protect the PST file. That's optional and up to you. We're not going to do that. We're going to click OK. Then um, we're going to take a look at the desktop here and we're going to see the file has been successfully exported. Now this is a very small Outlook file. It's around 256 kilobytes. If we go here to Outlook and we click on File and Open, we can verify if that file imported successfully. So we're going to click on Important. We're going to go to Outlook Data File. We're going to go to Inbox. And you will see that the message is Im exported successfully from Microsoft Outlook. We're going to just close this data file. Now in the next portion of the video, I'm going to show you how to import messages to your Microsoft Exchange mailbox or Microsoft Outlook. Okay, so in the next step of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import data from another PST file to Microsoft Exchange. The messages that we're going to import from this PST file will be directly uploaded to uh, this email account's Exchange profile. So they can be accessed in the cloud, on your iPhone, a mobile device, or on another computer. So we're going to start by clicking File. We're going to click Open and Export. We're going to click on Import and Export. We're going to import from another program or file. Select Outlook Data File, PST. We're going to click on Browse. We're going to select YouTube from the desktop. We're going to leave uh, Replace Duplicate Items by default. We're going to click on this drop-down box to see the directory structure. We're going to import these files into the same folder as Test at Cybersecure NY. We're going to include the subfolders and we're going to click Finish. And there you go. The email message will be imported and updated, uploaded to the cloud. You'll see here updating inbox, updating YouTube. Now these messages will be accessible from anywhere um, in the cloud. Now that uh, concludes uh, this demonstration. If you have any questions, please um, like and subscribe. And if you would like to know more, comment in the comment sections below and I'll do my best to, uh, to get back to you. In the